Hello students and welcome to week one. This week you will learn about numeric and string expressions. There are several coding challenges in this course. This course requires the use of Codio. However, you can also make use of any Python integrated development environment for practice, such as Tony. It's a nice IDE for beginners. Note that all assignments will be done in Codio. View this tutorial on how to use the Codio terminal and also view this tutorial on how to explore the environment for your final projects. Before you log into your Codio account, I would recommend that you check the information Codio provides on the best browsers. If you have any problem using Codio, please contact the SNU Technology Help Desk. The final project instructions for this course can be found in the assignments, guidelines, and rubric. For this week, we have three main activities. Post your self-introduction. Please refer to the discussion description for more details. Then complete the activity of the first unit on numeric and string expressions. Please read through the instructions provided in the course shell. And finally, also review the final project. Your final project is broken into four small separate scripts that you will have the opportunity to submit a practice draft and get feedback on before you finalize and submit in a later model. All final project Python scripts should be submitted in our learning management system. Review the final project script guidelines and rubric documents and the timeline of the deliverables. Each draft of your final project can be assessed in Codio. All right, enough of all the administrative activities. Let's get on to the fun part, running our first script. Are you ready? Have the Codio Python Playground Editor open or any other Python IDE as we are going to play with some Python codes. So for practice, you would make use of, of your personal playground. So you click on the personal playground and this takes you to, to the Codio environment. And here you have a text script which has the hello world written here. In this script, we have a line of code which would output the string hello world. I would show you how to run your script and how to navigate through the Codio environment. Run the code, we can run the code from the terminal. First, you have to locate where the code is. And so you run the command ls to, to check the files in your local directory. And there we have the test.py. So to run this code, you type python3 and test.py. And there you have it, your first program. This is the most simplest program that you would ever run. And so let's go back to the scripts. As you can see here, basically, we have an inbuilt command called print, which we're using. So print is a Python built-in function. There are other functions like open, which is used to read and write to a file. And we also have round to round the number of digits after the decimal points and, ma and many more. You can also define your function as you will see later on in the course. Let's get back to the programming environment. So we have hello world. So to display hello world, we use the Python function called print because what we are displaying is a string. We made use of the single quotes here, as you can see. We can also output other literal. Let's look at some examples here. I could decide to output print three plus four, print three times four, print without passing any parameter empty print python is awesome all right so we have one two three four five lines of code fantastic strings can be enclosed in either double or single quotes you notice in in line five i used a single quote however in line nine i made use of a uh, double quotes note if you want to have a single quote in a string then you should surround the string with a double quote for example i could say python string are easy to use which is really easy to use and the reverse is also the case meaning that you can also have double quotes within the single quotes so we could have a single quote here and a single quote here python is awesome and i could have awesome in double quotes Python is an awesome programming language. Another thing you can do is that you can concatenate strings. 
which means adding two strings together to create new strings. Let's comment this out. So to comment, we use, I would use the hash symbol, comment this out. So take for example, I want to print out also hello world. So I could have this as print hello world, hello plus world. This hello plus world isn't a great way to program. So what we can do is store these strings in a variable. So we are looking at introducing a new concept called a variable. So meaning that I could create a variable called greetings and greetings is equals to hello. And then I create a new variable called name and name is equals to my name is Itaoma. To be successful in this course, I will recommend that you run a line of code each day. If you have bugs in your code, don't panic. Just try to interpret the error message to figure out where you went wrong in your code. Debugging is a great skill to learn, which is a way of fixing errors, as that will make you a better programmer. Don't give up. Expect learning to program will take time to master. Read through the course materials, do the challenges, and type in all the code. Please let me know if you have any questions. Let's have fun programming with Python.